Championships were up for grabs at the 2A state tennis tournament. Jack Leto has more from Iowa City. The number one seed Caleb Peterson from Ankeny Centennial hadn't lost the game in the tournament until he faced Prairie sophomore Anthony Schulte. <laughs> Schulte held his own, ultimately finishing fourth after a couple losses on the final day. The highest finish among underclassmen and among Eastern Iowans. Oh, it feels great, honestly. Obviously, these three guys that were in the semifinals were a lot better than I was. And I kind of expected that coming in, but I kind of surprised myself by taking that last kid to a tiebreak. I thought I was playing very well. I just couldn't get it done in the big moments. It feels good, and I, I'm glad to represent my school. It's awesome, and especially, you know, playing at Prairie, we don't have the biggest tennis history, so everything he does is kind of a first, and, and just to see the excitement of his teammates and some of the people around the school and even past players of mine have reached out and everything, so it's just exciting. It, it couldn't happen to a, a nicer kid. Schulte's already got high expectations for next year. This is giving me a lot of experience. I mean, I'm going to take this to the summer and play a lot of tournaments, and hopefully by I'll be in the championship by the end of next year. Right behind him, Iowa City West senior Jaden Shin finished fifth in singles in his final tournament. Hempstead senior Jake Althaus came in eighth. Elsewhere in doubles, West's team of Singh and Menengi finished eighth. Linmar's Bauermeister and Kramer got seventh. And Linmar's team of Malcolm Rice and Zach Mersch won their final match to earn fifth place in their junior season. Reporting in Iowa City, Jack Lito, KCRG TV9 Sports. Thanks, Jack, and a big congrats to Caden Branham of Decorah, who won the 1A state singles title, beating Charlie Legrand of Xavier in the finals.